Hi, my name's Emmeline Choi, I am the Holistic Facialist and I am back this week with another video slightly different to what I normally do. Well, it's not slightly different, but it's me going on a little bit of a rant, I think. <laughs> um, and it's something that I've wanted to talk about for quite a while, so here it is. The black face masks. I am seeing these black face masks everywhere. They are on social media, they are all over YouTube, any YouTubers that I like to follow or watch, generally they've done one. And I don't know if, if I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, it is basically this, um, it's a black mask, all different brands are doing them, they're meant to be really trendy at the moment. And you mix it up, and you paint it on your face, you leave it for about 20 minutes, half an hour, it sets hard, you peel it off and then when you peel it off you can look at the back and you can see how it's cleaned all your pores you've got all this um like sebum stuff and all your blackheads come out and it leaves your skin feeling super soft super clean it's really purifying blah 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 my head my head explodes when i'm watching these videos and i try not to watch them because it really stresses me out so from a skincare point of view, or from a facialist point of view, I don't, I don't know what other people's opinion is on it, but for mine, it, they are just awful. And if you ever see the video, you paint them on and it's got charcoal in it, so obviously it's really good. But I mean, charcoal, don't get me wrong, charcoal's good. It's, um, it can help to draw out toxins from the skin. But I think in this case, it doesn't really do that much because you're literally peeling off this mask and it doesn't really go into your skin it's not like you're using um, any kind of active ingredient you're literally applying something that is the equivalent of PVA glue and that's if you buy like a, a you know a nicely packaged one I've seen videos on YouTube of girls using PVA glue um, charcoal like the inside of a charcoal tablet and I watched one with a girl using peppermint oil as well because she said it makes her skin feel really cool and zingy um, it's PVA glue like you don't want to be putting that as a, it's not a skin treatment it's not a skincare treatment it's, it's glue <laughs> so what happens is you apply this mask um, to your face it sets it's obviously got no like vitamins or anything in it that's going to be moisturizing or hydrating or anything like that at all it's it's just like a, a glue that when you when it sets you peel it off and it's not like when I do um like alginate masks in my treatment where you kind of peel it off and it's this lovely fresh thing it's got lots of vitamins and uh, nutrients and you know hydrates the skin plumps the skin out it's nothing like that this is literally like peeling glue off your face so when you watch girls doing it they're like ah, 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 and then they're like peeling it and the eyes are streaming and it's just like what is going on this is not good for your skin and what happens is you're it's kind of like peeling nail varnish off. When you peel nail varnish off, you're taking like layers of your nail and it can really damage your nails. But when you're peeling this mask off your face, you're peeling away like top layers of dead skin, but not in a, in a nice gentle way. You're like ripping off layers of skin. It's not just ripping off layers of skin, but you're tearing out hairs as well. Um, and I, I if you do get a few blackheads, I've never really seen it quite impressive, but there are much gentler ways to remove blackheads from your nose. Um, when you tear off those layers of your skin, you're going to completely destroy the skin's natural barrier. You're going to um, make your skin really dry, it's going to go really sensitive, um, it's going to be more prone to pimples and spots. Um, and also when, you're, when you wax the face in any any sort of way like normal waxing you can be more prone to breaking out but when you're using this mask it's not it's, it's just going to bring you out in spots because you're all those pores are going to be open like from waxing your face um and oh god my head i just <laughs> i can't watch them it stresses me out so and i know there's so many girls out there that are, are young and just you know they they believe so many of the things that they watch and you know I, to some extent I do as well you know I I watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, I, I like to watch beauty ones and skincare ones and all different business ones all different ones 
and you do believe a lot of what they're saying because they are so um they sound so convincing but you do need to use your common sense um sometimes and it just concerns me that these and um, some of not all of them by no means am i kind of categorizing all beauty bloggers but there are a few out there that are kind of making these masks up by themselves and adding like their own essential oils and it's like oh a few drops here and a few essential oils are so powerful you can't just add a few drops of this and a few drops of that it, you know you can actually cause damage you can cause skin irritation sensitivity um so firstly i would say don't make a mask out of pva glue because there are so many other nice things you can use instead of pva glue on your face and um, don't or be very careful if you're using essential oils. It's not just a few drops and a shake a few of the hair and there. It needs to be measured out. Um, and you know, I I sell essential oils from the Choi Apothecary range on um, my website, which is choi.life. Um, and on there, I tell you how to blend and how to use essential oils because they are so powerful. And some of them you can't even allow to you know come in contact with your skin directly because they are so strong. So um, if you do decide to make your own masks at home, do be very careful in kind of just adding a few drops here and a few drops there. Um, I really wouldn't recommend using these masks, whether you make it yourself or um, whether you buy it out of a tube. They're, they're just really not great for the skin. And if you are concerned with blackheads, um, there are so many different things you could do. So you could use a purifying face mask to start with not one that you tear off just like an old school clay mask would be really good go and have a treatment with your facialist ask her to remove the blackheads for you if you want to do them yourself at home you can do you want to do a very gentle steam of your skin first so either have a nice warm shower and then the steam of the shower will help everything soften or um just gently steam your face over say a bowl of warm water but you don't want it too close you still want a decent distance between you and the steam because you don't want any broken capillaries it's very intense steam so you do want a, a decent distance between i'd say a good 30 centimeters ideally um and then just wrap your fingers in tissue and just gently squeeze them out if you're finding that they're not coming out um maybe steam a little bit more make sure you've done a gentle exfoliation as well and um, beforehand but if you're really struggling to get them out, then maybe they just shouldn't come out right now. Maybe they're just not ready. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't recommend squeezing for your life because you'll end up with broken capillaries, redness, like swelling. You know, you don't want that. So um, just do some very gentle extraction yourself. And if you can't get it out, then maybe go and see a facialist and get them to do some extraction for you. But please don't use these scary masks. Um, they're just, yeah... It, just the concept of tearing tearing your skin off makes just makes my head explode um and i would much prefer if people could do a nice gentle exfoliation and do um you know a little bit of extraction a nice purifying clay mask is good for um you know blackheads and things and if you are getting blackheads regular instead of um tearing layers of skin to remove them maybe look into why you're getting blackheads in the first place are you using comedogenic um, foundations do you use primers every day are you using a face wash and not an oil based cleanser and um, what is it that you're actually doing or even face wipes they're a nightmare because they just don't cleanse the skin i don't know if you heard my rant a couple of weeks ago about face wipes um, but they don't cleanse the skin at all, so they just kind of wipe everything over. So if you do struggle with blackheads around your nose, don't um, just... If you do struggle with blackheads around your nose, then try and um, think about why you're getting them. And is it some products that you're using? Does your moisturiser have mineral oil in or some other kind of pore blocking ingredients? But I would say look into that. Do yourself a nice gentle facial at home. If you can't do the extraction yourself, go and see a facialist, get her to do it for you. And um, avoid these big scary black masks um, that people are doing. And don't make your own out PVA glue. Be very careful with essential oils. And yeah, sorry, I was on a bit of a rant then, but I need to get it out. I think <laughs> I'm so, I've been 
feel like I'm going mad watching all these like videos and every time I scroll through any kind of social media feed it's there, this black mask and how it's so cleansing. It's like, no, don't do it, don't do it. It will cause so much damage to your skin. It is a trend, it is a fad and it's hopefully gonna go out soon. So um, yeah, thank you for listening to me rant, I appreciate it and I, uh, I hope you've learned something from this video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.